Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnakar. The news in detail. Mahametro has added another feather in its cap with City and Industrial Development Corporation, the agency in charge of Navi Mumbai Metro project, deciding to appoint it for operating and maintaining services on line one of the project. The contract period is of 10 years. Mahametro is already executing the balance work of this line. Sitka has issued the letter of acceptance to Mahametro and an agreement between the two agencies in this regard will be signed soon. Navi Mumbai is the third city in Maharashtra where Mahametro is executing a metro rail project. The Nagpur Metro Phase 1 is partially operational while work is going on the remaining stretches, which will be completed by 2021st end. Construction of Pune Metro Phase 1 is also processing at a fast pace. Nasik Metro project designed by Maha Metro is awaiting clearance from Union Cabinet. The Enforcement Directorate on July 16 attached immovable assets worth Rs 4.20 crore belonging to former Maharashtra Home Minister Anand Deshmukh and his family under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act. In a corruption case, the attached assets, including one residential flat located in Mumbai, is worldly valued at Rs 1.54 crore, 25 land parcels located at Dhutum village in Uran, Raiga district of Maharashtra, which have a book value of Rs 2.67 crore, the ED informed. They said, a provisional attachment order has been issued under the PMLA, the development comes a week after the Central Probing Agency had summoned the 74-year-old former Maharashtra minister for a hearing of the money laundering case. It comes as a major blow to the MVM government in Maharashtra as they should belong to the NCP, which is one of its alliance partners. Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education Class 10 Results 2021 has been declared on the official website. The link to down Lord Maharashtra SSC Result 2021 has been made available on the official website at 1 pm. All students can download their results from Maharashtra SSC Results website maharesult.nic.in and maharashtraeducation.com. As the class 10 board exams was cancelled in Maharashtra this year, students' marks have been calculated on the basis of the scores obtained in internal examination of classes 9th and 10th. This year, the pass percentage of the Nagpur division is 99.84%, while the overall percentage of Maharashtra is 99.95%. With 99.56% this year as well, girls topped in the SSC exam, while boys registered 99.39% pass percentage. In Nagpur, 1,55,506 students appeared for the class 10 award exams, out of which 1,55,263 students are passed. Nagpur has the lowest pass percentage with 99.84%. Nagpur district on Friday witnessed slight increase in new COVID-19 cases compared to recoveries. In last 24 hours, Nagpur district reported 10 positive cases and one death, while 15 persons recovered from the virus bomb. This is out of 10 cases, 5 were reported from Nagpur city, 4 were reported from Nagpur rural, while one case was reported from outside the district. With this, the community positive cases reaches the 4,92,728 and death toll rose to 10,150. The COVID recovery rate of Nagpur district stood at 97.88%, although the number of corona positive patients and casualties is significantly reducing within both the city's limits and other parts of the district. Officials from both the Nagpur Municipal Corporation and the district collateral Although the number of corona positive patients and casualties is significantly reducing with the, both the city limit and other part of the district, officials from both the Nagpur Municipal Corporation and the district collectorate have appealed to citizens to regularly follow the triad of social distancing, mask and applying sanitizers in order to keep these cases and casualties under the administration's control. A leopard was again spotted recently at Ordens Factory in Bajari area by two security guards. This is the second incident when the leopard was sighted in the vicinity. Earlier on July 9, forest officials confirmed leopard bug marks in Ordens Factory for the first time. Since then, there was no sign of the big cat, even though camera traps were installed in the area. The forest department has taken serious note of the incidents. A team of Hingna Forest Range along with four platoons of SRPF have been deployed to patrol the area. 
the forest department has cleared the entire area and started searching for the leopard. Forest officials predicted that the leopard is still a majority area as the Ordnance Factory is a perfect habitat for the wildlife. The forest officials has appealed citizens to not to be panic and immediately call the Wildlife Rescue Center Nagpur on 0712-251-5306. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sach dikhaye, bina chupaye.